So I would describe my art process as very Oakland. My art process is very reflective of my lived experience and it's about creating something out of nothing. I feel like my art is a place of many possibilities and it's also a deep, deep reflection of who I am and all the components that make me me. I grew up in the Fruitvale. My memories of being in the Fruitvale during the 80s and the 90s were largely witnessing the effects of the drug war and also experiencing what it felt like to be neglected by the city and by the state. Because at that time, Oakland was a homicide capital. I could really feel the pain in my neighborhood. My art was a very safe place for me to be. The art was a place for me to imagine. It was where I could create my own reality and it was a place where I could escape. But despite Oakland being a very hard place to live in, there was so much resilience. There was a lot of beautiful art and creativity that emerged from hardship. It was artists like Xochitl Guerrero who taught me the importance of maintaining cultural symbols in the art. She taught me that through the art, we could hold on to our memories and also make sure that our stories survived. once again finds itself in a moment of hardship because we currently have the highest rates of COVID infection in Alameda County. This pandemic has taken an enormous toll on local businesses. They are just trying to survive any which way they can right now. So I think we have to be creative and we have to be incredibly aggressive on how we bring in resources to support, you know, really the lifeblood of these communities. For me, it's not just about reflecting on the harsh reality, it's about creating a way of how we can move forward. Even if those ideas just exist in the imagination, I strive for people to think about the world that we want, even if that world is not going to happen in our lifetime. It's really about planting the seed so that future generations are able to be inspired.